Hello and welcome! Today we are going to be taking a look at the Steam API and really, believe me when I say it has never been easier to use the Steam API. Um, in the olden times you would have had to either recompile the engine or do some GD native stuff yourself and I'm not 100% sure how to do that. Well, if you want to get started, you go to the asset library in the engine. You don't even have to leave the engine itself. You search Steam, and either of these are fine. I I tend to use this one, the Sam's Face one, um, because you literally you press download. It downloads. You press install. Um, it adds it to your add-ons. Now I it says that there are some further instructions, but maybe it'll work out just fine. You go to plugins. You press enable. Now if I am correct, I can just run it. Um, so I'm pretty sure what it actually needs is the SDK. So um, if you have the SDK downloaded, you need an app ID, you need to download the Steam SDK. These are the instructions right here. It's very, very simple. You just download a thing, import it, and then it puts it into your working directory for you. And, and that is it. So once you've done that, you are completely free to use the Steam API to your heart's content. I mean, you know, you can see you don't even have to initialize it like you used to have to do uh, because it initializes itself in that convenient singleton. You just call Steam and then there are a bunch of methods. So there's the set achievement and the clear achievement stuff, very standard. Um, for some things, they have uh, um, these sort of intermediary handlers. So there's user stats for the stats, there's friends for you know, getting the player's username and some of the other things you might need, you know, a uh, game overlay, opening web pages, things like that. Um, and there's a, there's a few of those. Let me just have a quick look to see if I can. So you can see here, this is this the uh, the singleton itself. Um, there's user, user stats, friends, utilities, and you can actually see what this extends to get the actual script which is all this stuff uh, you can get a nice list of all the functions which are in here you see the stuff about leaderboards I, I use that quite quite well um, getting your friends names getting your own name which is the persona name um, all this stuff and so that's it that's all you need to do I mean this is such a short video I feel like I should pad it out with something but my tutorial sandbox is sadly not a registered uh, Steam game, so I, I'm a little bit limited with how much I can do. Um, but, you know, you have your own Steam app. This is helpful stuff, so I hope this was informative enough for you. And if you thought this was useful, uh, feel free to like, subscribe, um, throw a party in the honor of the Godot engine, and stay tuned for more content. Goodbye.